you guys. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another episode of She Likes It Hard. I'm Alisa. Woo woo. I'm Chastity. I don't know what that was. I was trying to hype you up. Damn. I thought I was pretty hype. Uh uh-uh. uh. That wasn't enough? Mm-mm. Y'all need more? You know how you get the little background hype band? I was trying to do that. Oh. <laughs> Usually when the back or No, the they say what they the gotta say and like, then they be like, I'm blah 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 and they be like, What what? No. See, you just been lame, yo. <laughs> Yeah, let me start talking about Alyssa because she really believed me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this goody. is just our friendship. This is what it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whatever. I want to ask how you are, but now I just don't care. So we're going to get into the hard ass. Well, I have to say anyway. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to talk to you. Mm. Hard ask of the day. What's up? What you got? So it says, Hi, Alyssa and Chastity. I love you guys. I love you too. Um, so my question is, it sounds like you ladies travel a lot. This is true. Um, and I've only left my city once. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and I really want to start traveling and experiencing the country and the world. All the things I see on social media seems like expensive and exotic places. Can you give some travel tips as far as picking locations, traveling out of the country, and how to plan an affordable but fun and safe trip? So, 100%. I think we both travel a good amount. Um, Mm -hmm. The fact that you left your city once, I wonder how old you are. (laughs) That's interesting. Because, honestly, I I mean, not even no shade. Like, I mean, mean the last person. What would you say? I said, I meet people like that all the time. The only person I've ever met that's never left their city (laughs) is, like, an elder. Like, not even. I've, I've met a ton of people that left the state. Like. I, I even I don't know. This, that was just interesting. That kind of <laughs> that just put a lot into perspective for me. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, I'm grateful. <laughs> um, so yeah, I I feel okay. Travel tips. So what's just move the thing? I was reading that oh, chastity. Sorry. Jesus, I thought you already had it. I was, but I was trying to because it's multiple questions. So I was trying to break oh, it down. So I really want to search all the things. The social media. Okay, so the stuff on social media seems expensive and exotic. Um, so what I'll say is you can make anything look expensive and exotic. So don't go off of like, yeah, (laughs) just because it looks expensive and exotic on social media doesn't mean it necessarily is. Now, if you're talking about a trip that like Kim Kardashian took, yeah, I don't know if you can afford that. I I don't know who can't afford that besides Kim Kardashian, but, or Kylie. Um, but yeah, so those like, they most likely may not be that expensive. So don't count them out just because they look expensive and exotic. Um, but can you give some travel tips as far as picking locations? So we'll start with the picking locations part. Do you have any specific tips on picking locations? Mm. <laughs> How do you usually pick your locations? I just be like, I want to go there. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, that's kind of like, you just got to be like, okay, where do you want to go? I feel so, like, if, okay, I'll start, I'll start over. I feel like if you've never left your city, you should just, the first place you should go is another state. Uh huh. Cause then you'll figure out like how do you like to stay what are some things you like to do and it won't relative it won't be as harsh as going out of the country yeah it can get going out the country can get very overwhelming especially if (laughs) you if you never left your city that means you've never been on a plane before (laughs) traveling out the country on a plane is not a breeze a walk in the park and usually when you go to other countries unless you go to like mexico most likely it's not a straight flight and you're like going um through other countries on di- in different airports so that can be a lot at the fact of like it might not even be in english like <laughs> so uh, if you want to get first like get comfortable with traveling in the u.s on a plane before i would say just jet to another country yeah definitely yeah because you can find out a lot about like where you need to go what are some things you need to do um how do you plan for that so just making sure also i would suggest like reading up on people who travel a lot mm-hmm. like there are people who have specific content related to strictly traveling traveling cheaply traveling mm-hmm. while a minority like there are people out there with those accounts and they are really important resources and mm-hmm. they're helpful because they'll tell you like oh you need to get this money or no you don't have the money they take american money mm-hmm. or you need yeah. to um make sure you have all these vaccines vax 
vaccines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And not necessarily COVID vaccines, yeah. but other make vaccines. Make sure yeah. you have all these vaccines. Make sure that you have travel insurance. Make sure you have insurance, health insurance. Like some mm-hmm. places have these things. So looking up like the things that people have to do to go to the places you want to go, I feel like it's very useful. I do it all the time because mm-hmm. um, it like gives you an idea of like what's going on there, what the culture is like, what um, customs are are and then you can kind of learn from people's mistakes when they also go so it mm-hmm. can make your trip a little stream a little easier yeah and that's why i agree with the whole traveling with your in within your state first to get a good feel of like just being in other areas just so you can see how you navigate just being in a different environment so you also mentioned traveling out the country like Chastity said, there's a lot of research that not necessarily that you should, but not necessarily that you should do, but that you need to do. Yeah. Um, for instance, laws. Oh yeah. You do not want to get to another country and do something that you think is okay, but that because it's uh, it's legal in the U.S. But no, it's not legal there. You do not want to get stuck in another country um, because you are in jail. Oh, yeah. um, like certain medication, like I know because I take um, ADHD medication and it's um, considered like, a stimulant, like certain places won't, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't have that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's like Japan, like no stimulants. No. That's interesting. I didn't know no. that. that. <laughs> um, another thing is like just as far as safety, not every country, I'm not sure if y'all know this, but you can't dial 911 in every country. It's a different area. It's a different <laughs> thing to dial, um, to call the authorities. So, like, find out what those numbers are um, in terms of, like she said, with money, um, getting other currencies. It's not quick to get other currencies. Like, I, when I, I mean, traveling, when I went to Italy and I had to get whatever currency <laughs> they use, it took a month and a half for my bank to get me my currency. For real? Yeah. So, wow. it's like... Um, yeah, definitely do do your research. You need to plan ahead. Um, as far as safety, 100%, like, do your research before you leave. Do not, first of all, I'll just say, like, when I was in, uh, like, okay, when we went to Mexico, we are not getting on a taxi when I get there. Like, I'm not, I'm not just hopping in any cab. I'm, I'm calling the hotel, asking them what car services they recommend. I'm calling that car service. I am confirming multiple times with them who is picking me up. Make sure they have the right location. Like, because if the guy that they said that's supposed to be picking me up is not the same guy, no. If somebody's like, I'm sorry, Julio couldn't show up. Um, I'm here. My name's Emilio. Give me a second. I need to call the person that, because no, I'm not just hopping in anyone's car in another country. That's how you go missing. Um, And like, uh, Shit, what was I about to say? Oh, when I was in Italy, when I was studying abroad in Italy, mm-hmm. pickpocketing is so huge over there. It's oh, yeah. so freaking huge. That. It's so bad. Literally, someone tried to they go in my it's bag. Like the number one place. Yeah. Of, I think it is. Yeah. So <laughs> it's really big, like, there to not have valuable stuff behind you. So, like, if you have a backpack, so every time I would go to class, what was in my backpack? It was literally my notebook. <laughs> but in terms of my copy of my passport, my phone, or any money, I had a separate like change purse that was attached to my wrist. Like you can't just go in there and snatch it because someone literally tried to open my bag while they were walking <laughs> behind me, and I was just like, I turned around, I'm like, sir, and he like, walked away. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely um, do your research as far as like what the cultures are. You don't want to get to another country to offend people because of how you're dressed. So see what. That kind of stuff is, oh, yeah, um, especially some like country, Middle Eastern countries. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, and when you go to some countries, they get offended if you start speaking English to them off rip. So, like, France. Try and, yeah, <laughs> try and learn, like, a little bit. Like, ask if they s- try to learn how you say, do you speak English in this, um, in their native language. Um, so, those are some safety and, like, just good practice yes, things before know, you go out the country. Know the things that you need to ask in someone else's language. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> not everybody know their Amer- uh, English. English. Not yeah. saying American. Not everybody <laughs> knows English. So yeah. knowing, hey, how do I get here? Hey, mm-hmm. how can you, an airplane? Like those are beginner, like yeah. level one things yeah. that you can learn before you get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, um, so getting into the affordable and fun. So, I mean, when we went to Mexico, I mean, just first of all look for good deals if you don't have a specific date that you have to go to like a certain place be flexible with your dates because it it will fluctuate the price i mean i 
um, a couple times. I've used Cheap Caribbean to book trips to Mexico oh, because yeah. it's it's super cheap. Like they have really good deals. Everything's laid out. Like the they have a bunch of excursions that you can choose from. They have oh, yeah, they the have the inclusive. ride person. Yeah. They're all inclusive. Um, they have the person that'll pick you up from the airport. Like they do all that for you. So that's actually pretty easy to do. And it's, it's really cheap, like less than $800 probably. And you stay at like nice places. Um, uh, I think traveling out the country is so much cheaper. Than it is I was going to say, so. there's a lot of places that are cheap. Like yeah. going to Bali, it's pretty cheap. Mm-hmm. I haven't been, but research i want to go to bali so i've been researching it and Mm -hmm. you can pretty much live the flight is the most expensive thing for bali you can pretty much live off at like two hundred dollars for like two weeks yeah so yeah the american dollar goes far in In some places places. so if you want to go to some of those places some of those exotic places the dollar stretches far yeah (laughs) like i will spend i spent more money on um for a weekend in like denver or chicago than i did for a whole week in mexico chicago it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah i mean it's ridiculous but um yeah definitely do some research um look for deals i've never really used like TripAdvisor or all those kinds of things so really? i don't yeah I, I, my mom always said she doesn't trust them so i just never <laughs> use them <laughs> I mean, I I like some of them because they like alert you to like certain flights and things like that. Cause, Hopper, yeah, I do yeah. like Hopper for that reason. Because yeah. you can like see if you know your dates, you can like schedule, pick a flight, and then they can well monitor the flight so mm-hmm. it can tell you like when the flight is less expensive. Yeah, and so I think that's important. So there, there's always a way to do something. Yeah. Also, there's other like people that like have sponsorships where they want to send people to travel Mm -hmm. i'm not super well versed on it but i know some of my friends have done it and it's super easy all you have to do is like i don't teach some people english or something and they'll literally have you out there or take a survey or something Mm -hmm. and it's really it's free (laughs) it's all expenses paid for all you have sometimes all you have to do is get a flight so yeah there's things out there and i want to say how easy it is like with hopper like because i'm just gonna pull this up i'm planning a trip right now to uh egypt jordan and israel and um right now i'm watching the flight from cleveland to cairo and it literally has price prediction on here and it says until may 20 until dang, May 24th now? Okay. <laughs> Until May 24th, prices will vary over the next two weeks, dropping as low as $449. Yeah, $449. And right now it's at $780. So Hopper will then alert me as soon as it gets to like this number. And it literally, like, I get notifications like, hey, it's at $600, but we think it's going to get lower. So wait. Yeah. So, like, you can get on these kinds of things. Um, and even like if you're going somewhere in the country, like, same thing. Like, I mean, I don't know, find a find a good weekend to go, go with other people. That makes your trip cheaper. I don't know if you find like cool with oh, yeah. sharing a hotel room with somebody. But also like, travel with people who've already who are well versed true. in traveling. Yeah. Yeah. It makes the trip so much more seamless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love traveling with people who love who like are avid travelers. Mm-hmm. Ugh. It just makes every they plan everything to a T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um Yeah, and just have fun with it. Like pick fun yeah. places. Road trips are always good. I mean, and those are cheap. Also, you don't have to go out of the country to have fun. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. That is true. I've been to places and it's been crazy. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, wow, this is America. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, just have fun with it. Pick a place that you want to go to. Start there. I would start somewhere in the U.S. Um, go with other people. It'll make the trip cheaper. It'll make it more fun. Um, and it'll make it safer, especially since you're not really well versed. Um, so, yeah. Yeah yeah thank you for submitting the question i actually like answering that one yeah and if you have any more questions about make traveling. sure you email us at she likes it hard podcast at gmail. At gmail. Com. boom all right so we're gonna get into our topic today and what is our topic it is is it dangerous to judge people by their energy it's so a you vibe know, <laughs> exactly you know then people be like mm, i didn't like they vibe so no we're not gonna be cool this yes, is what we're talking me. about this is what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with a quote. Um, the article is called, How Real Are Vibes, the Good and the Bad? So it says, but growing... Oh, Jesus. But growing evi- evidence... I feel like there should be a comma here. 
This is this but growing is evidence suggests no. Oh, maybe not. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, but growing evidence suggests that human emotions may be not only contagious but may stay behind in the environment, potentially infecting and brightening surroundings even after the producer of that emotion has physically moved to a new location. I thought this was pretty interesting because I'm on the fence about if it's okay to judge somebody based off of their vibe. But, like, I like how, I I thought it was interesting how this is saying, like, if someone's vibe is, like, off or their energy, like, it's actually can be contagious. Like, and it can ruin you. It can infect you. um, It can make you a better person. It can make you a worse person. It could change the whole outlook of your day, outlook, outlook of your week, which then, like, trickles into your life like so having this is saying that it can be dangerous but i I thought this was a different perspective because it's just like i don't i don't really think about it that way Mm -hmm. have Um, you seen uh that experiment it's like people take two plants and then they tell one plant really really nice things and then they tell the other plant like rude things and then the plant that they usually tell bad things doesn't like flourish really yeah it's crazy and then the plant that they tell good things and talk to and whatever Mm -hmm. usually it's like super like flourishing tall beautiful looking so yeah yeah words have interesting vibes have a fit that's interesting (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm. um so yeah i think like so the reason i'm like on the fence about vibes i've tried this before and i was like all kinds of wrong um and i tried this before with chastity (laughs) (laughs) so when chastity and i first met I'm telling y'all, I was scared to death of her. I thought she, like, I don't know if you were having a bad day or what, but you just looked so mean. Like, oh, you, it's yeah, like, she, <laughs> she has, um, like, this face of where it's like, don't bother me. Just don't bother me. I'm here to train you, and that was it. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to like this girl. I am not going to like this girl. Clearly, my vibe check was all kinds of wrong, because look where we're at today, a year and a half later, or two years later. No, year and a half, two years later. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so clearly my my vibe check was off. (laughs) Um, So that's why I'm like, I feel like it could be dangerous because think about all the conversations I could have missed out on if I stuck with my vibe, all of the, like, experience that we could have had. Like, I wouldn't have went to Denver. I wouldn't have went to Mexico. I wouldn't have went to Vegas. Wow, we went a lot of places. We went to Vegas! (laughs) Vegas. Um, Yeah, like, I I wouldn't have had all these experiences. I wouldn't have had all these conversations. I honestly don't think, like, as harsh as Chastity is, I appreciate her harshness (laughs) because it, like, really, like, there's no BS within. It's like, Alyssa, get your life together. (laughs) Like, like, she checks me. And, like, a lot of my friends check me. A lot of y'all are similar. But Chastity is probably the most harsh person with it. So, um, but, like, I I appreciate it. So, it's like, I feel like I wouldn't have been able to level up as much as I have if I didn't meet Chastity. So, it's like, I feel like it could have been dangerous for me. Like, if I did not, if I I did not, yeah, like, I would, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't be this great person or, like, yeah. So, I feel like judging people based off their vibes can be dangerous. How do you feel about that now that I've said that? I don't know, because I judge people (laughs) off their vibes all the time, and I usually don't be wrong. I don't think I've ever had one that I was wrong. What was, okay, what was your vibe of me when you met me? I was like, oh, she's tall. Oh, I remember exactly what I thought about you. I was like, huh, I didn't expect her. So first of all, I didn't expect you to be black. (laughs) Really? (laughs) No. So what did did they tell you when they were like, um, oh, you're going to train? They were like, um, oh, you're going to train this person. They're from um, Cleveland. They did the (laughs) thing there, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, okay. Mm, like okay Mm -hmm. and then also for the company we were working for i was like that's true "Mm." yeah (laughs) yeah so i was like okay whatever and then then when you got there i was like oh she seems older and i was like hmm okay it's strange now now this is gonna be somebody who doesn't think that i know anything Mm -hmm. because they're older to me and so i was like okay how old did you think i was i don't know how old i thought you were oh but i didn't think we were like around the same age okay i don't know but also, we were wearing masks, so that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I really didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then I was like, "Huh, whatever." And then I was like, "Well, let's do this journey." And then all of my shit was dead, so I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. "I was like, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about you. I was thinking more about myself." So at what point were you like, "I could"? Oh, when I we went to lunch that day. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, "I like her." Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I still was not comfortable with you after we went to lunch but okay yeah we went to lunch i was like okay that's fine i like Mm -hmm. her a bit i was like i guess i'll rock with her (laughs) okay 
I didn't know if I was going to hang out with you outside of work, but I did know that I like to. It takes a while, I think, to hang out outside of work. Not really. Oh. Because we trained for the week, and then I think we hung out, like. No, we did not hang out that soon. Yes, we did. I don't know. Because I was like, (laughs) maybe it was like two. Because we trained for the week. You told me you were looking for a place. And then I was like, oh, you should look around this area. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, oh, it probably was longer. Probably yeah. was like more like a month yeah. or two. Um, also, if we didn't work. It's not like we worked in the office or anything. Yeah, we were in territories, so yeah. we didn't see each other all the time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think like that's why I feel like, well, I mean, it worked for you. I, I think the only time my vibe checks work is with guys. When I pick up a vibe from a guy, because guys can't disguise their vibes. I feel like women are like. I, I actually disguise my vibe, my vibe on purpose sometimes. What? Yeah. I don't realize. Okay, so a lot of people feel the way that you feel when they meet me. And I think it's because I'm not a very open person when people meet me because I am reading you from the moment you talk to me. Okay. So yeah. I'm not going to, you're not going to get me mm-hmm. as soon as you get me. So I guess maybe I am like, I'm not disguising it, but I'm just like, I don't know you. Mm-hmm. You're a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally what it is. You're right. a stranger. And however you treat me for these next five minutes is exactly what I'm basing it. Yeah. Uh, this whole thing off of. And so the only reason that you experienced like this, oh, she's cool, like is because I was at work. Now, <laughs> if I would have met you outside of work, like people tell me this all the time. Like, I thought you were so much more meaner like when I first met you than like you are now. Like, da da da. Like, I did not think I would like you, yada yada. I do that on purpose because I and don't. you do it on purpose. Oh my gosh, yes. I do not know. First of all, I, I try don't to trust be people. Nice. I think I'm nicer to people that I don't know. If that makes it. It depends on your intentions of trying to know me. Is it like, we just going to be cordial? Is this like a work function? Is this like you somebody else's friend and I just got to be around you? Then I'm nice. But if this is like you truly want to know who I am or you just some random person walking up to me, no, I'm about to be the meanest person because I don't I don't trust people. So you getting to experience this part of me. I mean, I don't me, trust people, but I'm also not dumb. Okay. If that makes sense. So like... Mm-hmm. Like I, like I told you, like the moment someone talks to me, I am complete. I am reading them from my head to toe. I'm yeah. reading all your actions. I'm reading all your movements. I'm reading the hesitations you make in your sentence, the way you're twirling your hair, the mm-hmm. what outfit you got on, or how your shoes look, mm-hmm. what you're saying to me. I'm literally digesting all of it, and I'm like calculating, <laughs> sorting yeah. it in like, my brain. I'm like, like mm, can I? Talk this is a good person? trait. This is a bad trait. I don't like that. Yeah. Why did you say that? That doesn't sound right. Like, yeah. so I'm going through it. So like. I'm like, okay, like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Oh, okay. And then, like, I either know you want something mm-hmm. or you're actually dr- genuinely trying to talk or you're being shady. And I feel like, oh, I don't feel like I have to be mean to do it. I don't know. I try to be nice to random people because I just don't know. I don't know. I feel like <laughs> I, I need to know your attentions before <laughs> I let you get to see the true vibe that Alyssa has. So I Touché. purposefully disguise my vibe. Yeah. I'm more nice to people because um, I know, I guess I'm nice to people because people always tell me that I say mean. So I'm like, let me be nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but You're actually not. the first person that said to me like, oh, you seem so much nicer, but, but people but also I'm not in the nice. work function, yeah, would say <laughs> the same thing. So yeah. Yeah. I still don't think you're mean. I haven't seen it yet. I... Oh, I want you to talk to everybody in my family. I've talked to you for two years, and I I still don't think you're. I mean. cannot wait for you. But to But it's tell probably because my I'm that. like, do y'all hear this? Not nice. I'm not generally nice, and I'm not generally mean. I'll say, I'm just in there. <laughs> I'm just a little harsh. A it's little it's like for you, it's not like it's something so crazy. Like the stuff that comes out of my mouth I'm isn't like, crazy to you because it's like you're kind of the same way. Then I'm like, yeah, I already thought about this. Yeah, somebody just said it out loud. Right. Because <laughs> I don't I. So I feel like my definition of mean is something different than everyone else's. I feel like mean is someone like belittling someone and like someone oh being like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I'm not like that, y'all. Yeah, I never so, thought about that. Oh, yeah. So that's my definition. Like, that's how I feel find mean in. So like when people are like, oh, you're mean. I'm like, am I mean? Like, so. I'm just very blunt. That's what I that's, mean by yeah, mean. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's like my process of it but mm-hmm. people say it the say it the way that you say it all the time mm-hmm. and so i'm like mm, i'm not mean mates. yeah i'll show you i can show you mean and that's not it right so right. Mm, i don't know people 
people are weird. <laughs> interesting. People are interesting creatures. Yeah. Love them. <laughs> um. So, like, you've never. So, so you're saying you've never had a time where, like, you did a vibe check and you were wrong. Like, no. it didn't. Uh. Uh-uh. Wow. I'm pretty so good at think, it. So, do you think it's it's not dangerous? You think like well, judging people so I'm one okay? of those people who believe you should like trust your gut, trust your intuition. I feel it. Okay. Um. And my gut hasn't let me wrong yet. So. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. And I also don't believe you don't. I don't think you miss anything that's for you. Mm -hmm. So if I vibe check you and the vibes were off and I'm not vibing with you, I can't miss it. I didn't didn't get to know you. I don't know what I'm going to miss. So if you were meant to be here, you will be here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. (laughs) That's very true. So I just really don't feel like. Um, I don't, I don't personally think I've had a bad vibe check yet. And also my friends tell me I'm really good at it. Cause like I have friends that like introduce me to certain friends and I'm like, mm mm. And they're like, well, you don't like that person. I'll be like, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then in the long run, they are like a shitty person. So mm, maybe my people are on my side. So like, <laughs> what's a vibe check that you, when you were like, okay, this is a bad vibe and you were like thankful. So when I was in high school i lived in texas shout out colleen i lived in texas and i lived in this neighborhood and it was like a base on base neighborhood but it wasn't like i don't know and i used to always walk by this like house and i always got like a weird vibe from me me and my sister did like my sister would always like speed past the house and i was just the house like not a person in the house but just the house just the house in itself okay like I was just always was like, oh, this is just weird energy. Like, I don't know. Like, let's hurry up. Let's skedaddle, mm-hmm. whatever. And then it turned out a pedophile lived in a house. Right? Crazy. Wait. Swear. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I just be trusting my intuition because we was young, yeah. I guess then, yeah, I would always trust my, my vibe checks then if that was, like, if that happened. Yeah, because me and my sister, we used to be like, yeah, that's weird. And then my sister used to always, like, run from his truck. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, what? I'm like, why do we feel like, you know, it's like, how do we have this, like, weird suspicion of this person? We, like, mm-hmm. never lived there before. We're brand new. Like, it's just a random house. All the houses look pretty much the same. Yeah. And then, mm-mm. Yep. Turns out. On the news and everything. Hmm. So that's interesting. Wow. Okay. I guess yeah. I would trust my my vibe and my gut too. Um. I feel like so something that I feel like happens a lot of time when people do their vibe checks and they're like, mm, I don't like their vibe. Like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of times it's out of jealousy, and I feel like that's why that's another reason why I'm saying it's dangerous. It's it, I think it's dangerous to live in this je- in a jealous mindset, and like if you're constantly like judging somebody or being like. Mm, giving them five seconds to talk to you like mm, i don't like her but it's really because she's pretty or oh, it's yeah. because he got money or it's because they travel all the time like that that just that's not a that's not a vibe check that's, <laughs> that's, that's jealousy. yeah right like you're just a hater <laughs> so like that's that's where i'm like um it could be dangerous because so let's say you and i were out and I've, I'm living in this hater mindset, <laughs> sipping on some haterade. And um, you're like, oh, my God, this girl seems so close. Cool. Like, mm, no, I knew her from way back when. And mm-mm, I'm not <laughs> like her vibe. Absolutely not. Like, this girl right here, she oh, turns yeah. out I don't like her because she, I think she looks better than me. And you, like, you could have missed out on a whole friend, a whole friend, a whole great person. Uh, and one, it's also dangerous to trust my vibe because apparently you shouldn't even be around me <laughs> because, <laughs> ew, why would you want to be around somebody like that? So I think, like, um, if you, if your vibe check, if your vibe checks are stemming from, like, jealousy, you oh, need yeah. to, you need to do some work. And if you know somebody whose vibe checks are stemming from jealousy, call them out. Like, you literally need to call them out. Because that's just, that's sad. That's sad. Oh, yeah. I remember, like, growing up, I used to always be like, oh, people who don't hate me are just insecure. That was, like, always my thing. Well, don't like me or insecure. That was mm-hmm. always my thing. Because I I feel like I give off a very strong presence, like, energy. Like, because okay. I'm just not very, although I'm an introvert, I'm not a very, uh, 
timid person. I'll okay. say that. I'm not yeah. t- I'm not shy. Right. <laughs> so I feel like I've always given off that, okay. And then like I'm looking at people, I'm reading people. Mm-hmm. So like if I look at you and I read you and you feel like insecure, or you feel small, I feel like it gives off that uh uh-uh, I don't mm-hmm. I don't like her. I don't rock with her because why is she doing that? Yeah. So I'm like I always have told myself, I'm like, Oh yeah, they're just insecure. It's probably just me talking in my head too, talking yeah. myself up. But also that's also why I don't like it when people do a vibe check on me and they don't like me because yeah. it's like, so for y'all that don't know, I'm 5'10", so I'm really tall. Um, and I mean, my <laughs> sisters are literally pretty much the same height as me. One of them's taller than me. Imagine the three of us <laughs> walking in a room. Like we couldn't, like we could be ugly. But just imagine three tall females that are very attractive walking in a room how much attention we command like and let us throw on some heels but just imagine how much attention we command and like people just automatically are always like they stuck up they bougie they this they that i don't like their vibe i'm sorry did you even say hi to me did you say hi to me just because i walk into a room and my grandma always which i hate when she would say that she would say the same thing like she would say like they don't like me because like they're jealous i don't like saying that because i feel like it's conceited if it's thing. true it's true I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's just like, I don't know. She said it so much. It's like, is it true? Or are you just trying to build your head up? Um, but it could be both. Two right. things can, can That's exist true. at the same time. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like, how are you going to judge me? Because I walked in here and I look pretty. I have a bad vibe. You don't like me. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, what do you want me to do about vibe, that? Alyssa. It's just your vibe. It could just I'm not vibe. feeling it. I don't want you around. <laughs> She's stuck up. She's bougie. Because of what? Because I'm confident? Like, I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's when, like, a lot of times, like, vibe checks are dangerous is when they're stemming from jealousy. Because, like, some people will just be like, yeah, they sipping on haterade. Yeah. I also will say, though, because I have a friend and we all went on a trip together. I met one of her friends. (laughs) And I was just like, "Uh uh-uh. Like, I spent days with this person. I'm like, uh uh-uh. And my friend to this day will be like, no, she was just having a bad time in her life. Give her a little chance. How many vibe checks did you give her on this trip? (laughs) So, it's so funny because I was not, like, like I said, I'm nice in the beginning. Yeah. So like I was like, Oh yeah, you can have the you can have the bed to yourself, like I can share it with um this person, like it's fine, like mm-hmm. whatever. And then like I was just like, uh uh-uh. uh. It was just too much going on. Was this your first time meeting her? Yes. It was. And so, she was Oh. It was just not it. And I was like and it wasn't like super crazy. It wasn't like I would like it wasn't like I couldn't stand being in the room with the person. Like, it was fine. Like, it wasn't that crazy. But mm-hmm. it was just like, mm-mm. I would not hang out with this person. Like, this is not somebody I would have in my circle. Like, yeah. mm-mm. It's giving reckless. It's not giving for me. I think that's pretty interesting <laughs> to bring up, too, that people need to, like, be cognizant about is that, like, your vibe check does not have to match somebody else's vibe check. Like, your friend clearly is okay <laughs> with, like, being friends with her. But, like, yeah. Chas- that don't match my vibe. Chas is like, that does not match my vibe never in a million years. Like... Me and Chastity, we may not be able to be around the same person because even though we are friends, like our vibes that we need to be around may not be similar. Like I'm telling you. And if the person's not like Chastity, most likely I won't like her because like, yeah, I can vibe with Chastity, but if she's like some other type of personality, who knows? Like, so yeah, just like, don't trust somebody else's vibe check. Like give it your own because literally like y'all just may not like the same type of people. Period. Cause I definitely know we like all my friends' friends. <laughs> really? Mm-mm. I'm trying to think to I are there any of my friends' friends that I don't like? Mm-mm. It's so funny though, because so most of my friends like my friends, like like my other friends. And I'd be like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I would go as far as saying like I'm friends with my friends' friends, but I will I can be around y'all. I like I can be around them. I can yeah, like it's some of my friends' friends, and I'd be like, uh-uh. <laughs> don't invite me. <laughs> Like, I don't even know how we're both friends with each other. Like, how yeah. are you friends with this person and me? It don't. Yeah. <laughs> and one plus one equals two. Yeah. Who are you? That is, you said that to me before. You're like, I don't know how, like, if we friends, how are you friends with them? I do wonder that sometimes. No. Like, what kind of vibe are, you know, is this some, person going for? Some people give people different things that they need. So true. I can understand that. That's true. Kind of like how I said, you give me that harsh, harsh reality yeah. that I need versus others. Some of my friends may not. Yeah. 
I feel that. that makes some people that. might not appreciate that. Like yeah. something that you can really like about me, like me being hard, someone could also really hate. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, and it's a lot about like deliverable. Some people may not may not be able to take the way that someone else delivers something. Like I may be able to take how chastity <laughs> says something to me, but I promise y'all, I have some friends, I have family members that if chastity <laughs> said some of the stuff as she says to me to them, they would be like. It's so Crying. funny because, like, <laughs> sometimes, like, people come back and they'll tell me, like, something someone said. They'll be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Then, like, when you said this to me, to them. And I'll be like, what? I was only joking with them. They took it hard. They mm-hmm. must have been true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Or it's even, like, some of the stuff you say to me, if someone else says it to me, I get very, like, I may get upset. Like, because I, I think can, it's, like... it's like, I, ex- I expect that coming from you. <laughs> But somebody else is like, okay, I don't like your vibe anymore. I don't like, like, I don't like that. Yeah, like. Why would you even say that to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, not sorry. Mm-hmm. It's okay. In that case, that's what, that's what makes you you. I don't even understand how you always have a song that you can bring up. Even like, if I want to. <laughs> I told you it's the way like my they, brain works. Because they don't be current. Someone's just I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, I don't get it. I just do not get it. Look, I listen to everything, y'all. Mm. Everything. I love music. Oh, me too. That's but something like, about me. I forgot to say this in the date, but first date uh-huh. behavior thing. But that's a good thing. Take me to like a little a little um, solo artist that's not super known. Take mm-hmm. me to a little concert vibe thing. Love you. Brownie ten points. Out of ten. Brian but yeah, Williams. I love, 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 love music. So I'm just always thinking of songs. I'm surprised I didn't do anything in music. Like, I love music. Okay. Like, that is my thing. That's probably why I like people who are, like, artists and into that. Yeah. I love music. Yeah. So my brain is always, like, thinking like of vicariously songs. Because living through them. I used to write songs. I used oh, to do my thing. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm learning something new about you. But yeah, I love music. Mm. I love little things that they do. Well, the I guess y'all always gonna be in for a treat with Texas. Yeah, song. she always gonna hear a song of the day. Go listen song to it. Song of the day. What song was that? Um, dang, who sings that song? I think it's Macklemore. Yeah, yeah. My life, my life. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, vibe checks. I feel like I personally feel like they can be dangerous. Yeah. That's, so that's what I thing. said, the hard truth. I said, trust your gut and not your insecurity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because something that you hate, something I learned about insecurities and even like things of confidence is like something that you really, really, really don't like about somebody is like usually a direct reflection on yourself. Mm -hmm. And then something that you really, really love about somebody is usually a direct reflection of yourself. Like something that uh, someone said, it was like, um, think about your favorite, like your celebrity that you just love so much and think about all the things you guys have in common. And think about how they radiate the same thing that you do. And I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Trust like your that. gut, not your insecurity. Yeah. I don't really have a hard truth because, I mean, <laughs> I agree with that. Period. Point blank. Boom. Mic drop. But, yeah. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Happy Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, if you'd like to submit a hard ask, please do so at she likes it hard podcast at gmail.com or DM us on any of our socials at she likes it underscore hard. And while you're at it, please go ahead and follow us. Um, if you would like to list, watch us on YouTube, you can check us out at she likes it hard podcast. And if you listen to us on Spotify or Apple, please leave a rating and review. Um, we love you guys. Have a great rest of your Come, week. Like it, subscribe. And bye. Peace out. Here.